Let's take a quick look at how channels behave inside a document. The channels panel is normally docked with the layers panel, and you can click to open it. In this particular image, we're using the RGB color mode, and you'll notice that we have a presence of red, green, and blue. Let's turn off the visibility here for two channels. Where the image is white, that indicates 100% presence of red. Notice when I turn on the green channel that the two circles overlap. Where red and green overlap, we get yellow. Let's turn off the red and on the blue. And you'll see that the blue and the green do overlap as well, creating cyan. If we turn on all three, what you'll notice is the intersection. Where red and green overlap is yellow, green and blue, cyan, blue and red, magenta and all three colors combine to create pure white. Understanding how channels work is important as you start to approach color correction tasks. Oftentimes, improper white balance or color cast can be fixed by working at the channel level. You'll find that channels are most often used for color correction, but they can also be used to create save selections as an alpha channel or embedded transparency also as an alpha channel.